Hey everyone, how is it going? In this video, we are going to migrate our Cypress project to the newest version 10 release. This release brings new features and a new interface to improve our user experience. Component testing is part of this release as well, a new approach to write tests. Let's get started. We are going to use QE practice project that currently uses Cypress 9.6. The first step is to install the newer Cypress version by using the following command. npm install save dev cypress 10.3.0 which is the, the latest version. Great! The next step is to open Cypress by using dot slash node modules dot bin Cypress open. We will see a video that describes the new features. I encourage you to spend two minutes watching it, then press continue button and we will see a migration helper that will take us through the migration steps. The first step implies renaming the existing spec folder. It will automatically rename the spec folder according to Cypress 10 standards. So, instead of Cypress slash integration, we will have Cypress slash end to end. We can also see a before and after section. Click rename button and it will take us to the second step that automatically renames the support file. The reason is that from now on Cypress supports two different support files according to test types that could be end-to-end -end or component testing. Hence, in this step, support slash index.js becomes support slash end to end.js. Click the rename button and we will get to the third step that migrates the Cypress configuration file. Cypress.json becomes cypress.config.js. This step not only renames the file name, but also migrates the current config to the new Cypress 10 standard. Finish the migrate configuration and that's it. At this point, you will see a welcome to Cypress window that confirms our end-to-end -end testing has been correctly configured. We can also see the second option regarding component testing. Clicking end-to-end -end takes us to the testing panel and this testing panel is a new, fresh interface. 